Aggies hosting the Giants at Coors Field. Tyler Chatwood with the start for Colorado in his second call up from AAA this season. He faces Brandon Belt in the top of the second with a man at second. The pitch crosses up Willeen Rosario, but he recovers the gun down Buster Posey. But after Belt doubled, the next batter, Gregor Blanco, sends him home courtesy of the RBI single into center. And the Giants strike first as they lead 1 0. With the start for the Giants is Tim Lincecum as he faces Dexter Fowler, bottom three, and that's a game-tying RBI double for Fowler. Charlie Blackman scores for even at one, and the next batter for the box is Josh Rutledge with the little chopper. Good effort here by Lincecum, but the throw, not so good. It's an error on Lincecum. It allows Fowler to score as Rutledge moves to third. The Rockies would tack on another as they would grab a 3-1 lead. Let's go bottom four, same score. It is Chetwood now at the plates with a man at third, two men away. Ground ball up the middle and into center field for a base hit. Tyler Chatwood with an RBI single. That is KOA with the call as we go top five. Chatwood facing Buster Posey. Runners on the corners, two men away, and Chetwood gets the job done as Posey is retired. Chetwood would go five and two thirds of one run ball, scattering seven hits and working around four walks. Bottom five, it is Rosario at the plate with a man on. Swing and a drive. I don't care how the air is tonight, this one will not stay in the ballpark. Touch him all time for the bull into the left field bleachers, number nine, and most importantly, 6-1 Rockies. That is KOA with the call. The Rockies cruise to the 10-2 win as Chetwood picks up the victory and improves to 2-0. Marco Scudero goes two for four as he extends his hitting streak to 17 games. In other news, Colorado trading infielder Reed Brignac to the Yankees for cash compensation.